Adam, a couple of key nominations for Eagle Farm on Saturday. Firstly, Deepor in the Lightning Handicap. I thought his trial here the other day was as good a trial I've seen him put in uh, since my time in Queensland anyway. Yeah, he's going good. Um, obviously, the 1,000 first up. Probably a bit short of his best, you know, this time of his career. He's getting a bit older now, so just try to keep him a bit fresh coming into this. Uh, obviously, last preparation, he had a few setbacks. Um, seemed to be over those little niggling injuries, and he's come back great. You know, you're right, his trial the other day was super, and uh, I like the way Andrew sort of gave him a bit of rain, you know, just before the turn to make him do a bit of work, because he's a horse that can get a bit, bit too far back in his races, but tried a couple of new things within his prep, and hopefully it works. Was it a case of after that first up run where he was unlucky and then unlucky again in the second up run that he'd sort of lost confidence by his third start? That's a good way of putting it. Probably uh, I would say he can be a bit of a big sook at times. Um, just once he did lose the confidence in that run, he you know, was sort of um, went back a few steps just the way he pulled up. And second up, he was good again without much luck. And then after that, he was really playing third up. So that's when he chose to go to the back to the paddock. And I think that was the best thing for him. He's had a good break now. Uh, and as I said, he, he looks like he's come back great. And he probably last preparation, I wasn't 100% sold in his coat. Just didn't come up right last prep. But he looks like he's he's back to his, his normal glowing self. He was placed in a missile states behind I and me, which is good class sprinting form. And at his best, he's a, he's a good horse on his day. So he, you know, forget last preparation and he can easily bounce back and uh, be a sort of force for a for a sort of stakes race during the Winter Carnival. Yeah, correct. Um, he was super behind I and me that day. You know, he travelled to Sydney for the first time, back to Sydney for the first time under our care, and um, they're pretty smart horses. You know, I and me's gone on to do some pretty smart things in Group One grade, and I do believe he's, you know, I'm a bit biased, but I do believe he's one of the best sprinters in Queensland when he's at his best. But you know, he's got to get back there and he's got to show us that he's at it again. So hopefully, ridden quiet at the back on Saturday, he'll be hitting the line strongly. Another horse in the nominations on Saturday is uh, Navis Two in the class six twelve hundred metres. Uh, a good but sort of unlucky preparation, uh, your first prep with him. Arguably should have won at Ipswich first up and then didn't have much luck at his at his next start. So a quiet trial here the other morning. Yeah, he's, he's had a jump out in between um, that trial and he was super the other last Wednesday and a quiet jump out. Um, he was really good late. Um, so it suggests to go to the 1,200 first up. I, I would have liked it more to be at 11 first up, just we just try to keep him a bit fresh. He's a lovely, you know, big athletic horse it doesn't take much work and um, I thought in his first preparation he did a really good job um, you know he come back from Hong Kong and had a setback when he was in New Zealand during quarantine so um, he did a super job first first time with us and I do believe he's come back better this prep. With, with the, the the Hong Kong horses does it take them a while to acclimatise or can some come straight back into the system here and get going? Yeah some can the tough ones do it and they're pretty tough horses that travel over there um, He's got a great attitude, so he helps himself. Um, you know, a horse like Charge On, we're a bit hot-headed horses that, you know, hard to get him to settle straight back into the swing of things. But I do believe even horses coming from Melbourne to this different climate, it can take him a couple of preparations. And he's definitely, you know, a horse that's come back from Hong Kong who's who's now loving the life. And why wouldn't you love this weather? Just back to, <laughs> you look cold. Uh, just back to Depor, any major plans with him this preparation? No, we'll just get for the first up run. Uh, obviously, there's a plan to go back to Ipswich where he was super. Uh, this time last year and um, I just want to see how he goes first up and then we'll make a good plan after that. We'll let you go and have a hot shower. Thank you.